pardon me. Hi. Um. Good morning. Um. It's very cold here. Um. I. <laughs> I had a whole plan about the video and what I wanted to talk about today, but it's all been drama this morning, so we got no gas, so we got no heating, which is why it's freezing, and no one could afford it, so drama. I'm terribly sorry about the lighting, I'm not sure how I can make it better Unless I like physically turned, but like It Um It's very small in here Um Yeah, I wanted to talk today Because We had a <laughs> That was my belly rumbling <laughs> I probably was just like Um Yeah, we had our therapy session Um On Thursday And Yeah, I just wanted to talk about it, I guess Um Cause <clears throat> I started to get onto the topic of Feeling like, I don't know, feeling like I'm kind of trapped here and really craving going for drives like I used to and going up to the moors where I used to live um, and finding all that open space like the moors and trying to find safe spaces like that here and things like that, you know. I'm sorry if I'm not making much sense. Um, and, yeah, I started to get onto the fact that, like, it's, I don't know, it's not a very safe place here in this house. It's very high tension all the time. And, you know, I, I don't feel like I could ever switch here. And although I know you can't control it, you know, we can to some extent. Um, but yeah, I don't feel. I guess if you're in a state of unsafe, then your brain is not going to be working at its full potential, you know, and it's going to be. I don't know. It's going to be doing stuff to help you anyway. But yeah, it's been. A while since I've been able to fully trust myself to let go, or fully trust the people around me with whoever comes out, you know. And yeah, like I was saying about how I've been really craving going and seeing like other systems, you know, I've been craving going and visiting Jess and the boys and going and seeing everyone up in Bristol and going and see, getting um, me, myself and Alu to come down and everything, you know, I just, I've been craving being in that safe space where everybody's welcome and there's no judgement and it's okay to like let go, you know, because I know that whatever happens in when I'm with them with Casey alone that everything will be okay you know and I can actually trust myself to black out but yeah I don't know I just got into that and you know I was talking about that and then my therapist brought up the conversation of like just talking about my alters and talking about what it's like and talking about everything, you know, and I've got, I've got such a fear of 
switching and my alters and everything like that, you know, and I, I don't want to be, you know, I want to get to that stage where I can trust them and we can communicate and, you know, we can live together, you know, as a team, but I'm too scared at the moment and I need somebody to help me, you know, go, it's okay. And her response was, you know, if you're scared, then we should try and integrate them more. And I was like, I mean, yeah, probably eventually, you know, but right now that is terrifying. Right now, I don't want that. I don't want to lose them. I don't want to be alone, you know, like I, I just want to work better with a te as a team with them as like it's like living in a house with 20 strangers you know and you don't know any of them but if you sit down and talk to them and learn what they all need and like then you'll you'll get on better you know and you'll the house will run smoother so that's what you want to do I don't want to kick everybody out so that I have to deal with the house alone you know like yeah and I kept trying to say that and she kept trying to go back to integrating them she kept saying this and she's a lovely therapist you know and it's 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 one of those things that you know I kind of expect when it comes to a therapist to say but it really got me I was like oh I kept saying over and over again I don't want that I don't want that yet at least you know I want to work with them I want to get to a point where they can come out and be okay um I want to work as a team I want to work as communication you know there's some systems that can talk to each other in the headspace I like you know and I want to get to that I want to be able to communicate with them not be scared and that's an even scarier thing you know she did kind of get that you know she was like you know it's scary letting them out but I can see that it's clearly scarier to lose them all and I'm like yeah um and then she was like maybe you just choose one to work on and integrate and I'm like oh I'll just single out one of them I'll just pick one it's not how it works so yeah it's been on my mind a lot you know like she's been a br brilliant therapist and I've been with her for like ages now um and it's been really good you know having a constant therapist but I don't know it's just that's probably throwing a spanner in I guess because like I shouldn't be teaching her the alternatives to that yeah I don't know and it's like we've been doing group therapy at the moment as well which has been incredible like we've met some lovely people through it and we've learned like so much from like their life experience and stuff and they've all been so lovely to us you know they they've been so supportive about all of our stories saying you know that they hear us and they believe us and <clears throat> they're like they talk all the time about how they're like they admire me and they're like wow at me because of what I've gone through and I'm like don't know like you you're amazing fuck off with your compliments <laughs> but yeah the, the the they've been amazing you know and the therapist who runs that group she I mentioned you know that I had earlier on in the sessions I mentioned I had a dissociative disorder and then later on, um, she asked a question which I couldn't really answer because I had multiple pe cells, you know, or something like that. And, well, like, I couldn't remember half the time, so so I had to say, I was like, oh, actually, I do have DID, um, not just dissociative. And she was immediately like, oh, yes, I know that. Do you need to explain? Do you need? Do you want me to explain? Do you not want to say anything? And I was like, wow. And then she was like, if any of your other parts come forward, do they have names? Do they have alter like uh, anything 
to give them away? Would they announce themselves? Should we address them with a different name? Um, things like that. She was so welcoming and so just straight on it, you know. And she was like, I've had training in this and I've had a patient with DID before. So I called her, well, I said to her, can I sit with you after the session and just chat with you about it? And we chatted for ages, like nearly two hours, just chatting about my system and my alters and different things and things I figured out and things I haven't figured out, things I want to get to and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, she really understood it, you know, but... You know, there is the op- I know there's the option of changing therapists, but I guess I think my... I feel like I'd be betraying my old therapist a little bit if I did that, you know, and I don't want to give up what I've got just for the chance that that the other one knows more about DID, you know. Uh, I just, I don't know. Everything's been constant drama. I still haven't got my meds. Like, I don't know how long ago I posted that video, but it's been about two, three weeks now since I've got my meds, and it's getting so bad. <laughs> like, I I didn't realise how bad my condition had gotten until I'd been off my meds so badly, you know, for so long. My, like, I'm twitching constantly, I'm shaking constantly, like... I get my, I've been getting ticks way more and way more often, way more vocal ticks, way more just everything, you know, my toes and my feet have been curling up and twitching and it's just, mm. <laughs> everything is fun, you know, and yeah. And it's like, it's it's because the doctors are shit, you know, I've been calling them up every fucking couple of days being like, right, where are we? What's going on? And it's something else they need and it's something else they need and I have to wait for a doctor or the doctor says they haven't had a, any proof that I've ever taken this. So I have to get proof from my other doctors and then they're like, yeah, sure, we can't find it. And then they eventually send it over so they call the other doctors and they're like, yeah, we got it please email us and then the email is like well, it'll take 72 hours <laughs> so i'm dying inside yeah <laughs> i have tea here and i've been talking too much that i've forgotten about my tea so i'm like oh this is what i mean look i can't pick up a cup of tea without fucking spilling it so. <sighs> yeah. Everything's been drama. <laughs> it's been crazy as well, like I've been noticing lately that I've been I think because of my avid fear of switching and my forceful denial of it, you know, I'm like, no, this isn't happening. I'm here. I'm here. <coughs> my brain has started to like force us to go who can't, I guess. Like all of yesterday, day before. What is time? <laughs> One of these days. Um, it was pretty much me and Toast just all day. You know, it was... It was just... It was really weird. It was like a DJ mix with two discs, a bow and a Toast. And, you know, you can move the dial up to have 100% or 0%. And, and it was just like moving the dials between like 50% and 70 and you know pushing them up and down between like more toast more bow a little bit more toast and a little bit more bow you know and it was just like just all day constantly and it was like 
it was good, you know, to have a, a little bit of a break, because, you know, Toast did most of the stuff, he, he chose what to do, he was the one watching, he was the one doing, you know, but I was still somewhat there, I was still somewhat aware, and sometimes I would trap into conversations with Case, or, you know, and that was a lot more comfortable than just being gone, and I think that's what's been happening a lot the past few days, or the past few weeks even, like, I keep getting these memories of, like, things that happened, but, like, that wasn't me controlling it, you know, I was very much just watching, and, yeah, I don't know, I think it's been a bit weird, but it's been better than blacking out, you know, and I think that's probably what's gonna happen more, at least now that we know that it worked a bit, you know, that if... I don't feel safe enough to let them slide a little bit further. I can slide up and be like, no. It's just a bow. We're just a, a normal human. But trying to slide the slider down a bit to be able to have that break. Yeah. I just think I need some... I think you need a bit of a break. You need the time away from here. Why is the world locked down? Why can I not visit my friendos? Exactly like me. A sad moment, even dark. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Life's shit at the moment. I think everybody can feel that though. You know? But. Yeah. We chug in. I hope I can get my meds soon. To be honest, because I'm losing my fucking mind. I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do about here soon. Wrap up warm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go, because I'm just fucking talking shit now. Um, let me know what you think about my whole thing with my therapist. Let me know your thoughts, you know? Um, yeah, and if you don't have any thoughts, let me know how you're doing. Let me let me know how you've been. I love reading comments, so uh, yeah, leave us a comment. Yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Tazzy bye.